hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a e-commerce navbar design okay so this is a simple navbar design which is provided by the laravel by default now we will implement as an e-commerce navbar design okay so guys i have already written a post on this in a simple code where e-commerce navbar design using html css and bootstrap so this is the preview and the code is over here okay only the navbar code is given here and the css for this it's over here step two okay you need to just add it in your custom.css file so now guys let's get back and go to the navbar and check where this navbar exists so guys let's get back to our code and let me close all the files so we can start from fresh all set so first step guys we need to move on resource views and layouts where you will find the app blade.php so this is our main file where this file is extended for all the pages and the navbar is here okay let me open and let me minimize this and here let me type as funda ecom okay and show you the output so you see that guys uh, funda ecom has come over here okay so which means the navbar is this only okay and here you see that there is a guest login and register when it is logged in successfully then you are showing a logout button okay so guys first step we will create a separate file let's create a separate file inside your layouts folder we have an inc folder inside inc i am going to create one new folder with the name front end front end and now let's create a navbar navbar.blade.php done guys so let's include this navbar so what navbar you're going to include going to copy from your post let's copy this from here let's scroll scroll select and scroll and copy this right click copy and just paste it here that's it guys so a common navbar is over here and this is your top navbar okay this is a normal navbar and this is a top navbar all set guys so now you need to copy your CSS file. So create a style.css or custom.css. Any file, make sure you are linking that. So now let's copy this CSS code. Right click, copy and paste in your custom.css file. So which we have already created in previous video. So guys, you can see that it's a set CSS and custom.css. Let's go to public assets css custom.css file okay let's scroll below and just paste that let me add this is navbar css okay paste here that's it done let's save and close the custom file css and make sure you are linking that guys without linking it won't work and here is your navbar Perfect. So now guys, we need to link this navbar in our app blade at this place. So what I'm going to do, I will comment this navbar. We have commented it. And now let's include this navbar copied file. So for that guys, you can use at include function and just go to layouts, inc fronted navbar. Okay. Now it's linked and now let's move and here in this top navbar i have used the font awesome also okay so which is ffa search ffa shopping cart wish list and user icons so i have used this also so you need to include that cdn link too so let's get back and just move on the template so here it is just copy this copy the link tag copy and paste let's paste it 
that's it guys so now get back now refresh perfect so we have got the design guys the funda ecom and your search box with the icon also okay so if your icon is not visible please add the cdn link okay so now guys let's get back to this drop down and set the logout button okay so when you're logged in you should see this username logged in username else you have to see that login and register part so now guys let's get back and you have the backup over here which we have commented let's open this navbar and copy the guest code let's copy all this guest code and end guest code control x remove this navbar not required now now you set up with your front end navbar and here is a drop down okay so before this i'm going to paste it so this is the logout button and here is your logout button one okay this is a logout button we have to implement it here let's tell logout button you need to copy this code copy and paste below this a tag for logout all is going to be same what you have to do just add this icon before the logout that's it guys now we can remove this option all set and now guys you see that the username let's control x and paste here add this username paste it and now we will remove this whole section i mean link tag li tag and close this control x and paste after this li tag all set and this is your login and register for li tag okay so now let's save and let's see refresh cool so you get your login and register so now guys login now to see whether drop down working fine so i have one user admin at gmail.com login let's go back to home page here you see that the username is admin and here all your drop down works fine so now guys all set and in this video that's it we have learned about our how to set up a navbar in e-commerce project and let's continue next video by fetching all the categories from the admin dashboard and displaying its product also okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share